uh, of the last year have been leading up to what is happening now. And in my opinion, what is happening now is completely out of control and then complete bedlam. And then it's our problem. It's everybody's problem because people are trying to have freedom. I just did, did other things, but I didn't go away. I'm not like... Uh, a band uh, from the 60s that's now coming back and, and taking advantage of a huge nostalgia thing. I've tried systematically to destroy all my recordings, uh, to re destroy the base of uh, my record-buying public systematic destruction for years and years. And so I'm still alive. It only lasted a while, and then it was over. We made the record. and. Uh, tried to make a good record and but I think uh, I've gone so far somewhere and, uh, and they you know they're they're still doing what they do and they, they do this very well and they they're they really believe in what they're doing you know and they're, they're doing that but I, but I've gone all over the place uh, and so coming back together was not as easy as I thought it might be corporate uh, people and took it so seriously it was like a threat I mean how could it be a threat they should have just let it go no one would have noticed they would have said oh it's not commercial we'll, we'll play it they didn't like it forget it they could play it for a week and then turn it off you know but instead they said we won't play it and then that caused the whole big thing you know 20 years of recording and 20 most people only last five years at the most and business. So I last 20 years and uh, at that time I've been 20 years and then I got sued for being not commercial, you know. So, you know, I don't sell records like, you know, I don't sell records like these other guys like uh, George Michael and all that, but I'm not, I'm not, in, you know, I'm not on the radio either, you know, that much, you know. I, I don't know where people listen to me. <laughs>